In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to this episode of Catechism for Catholic Fathers. Today we are going to be looking at number 16 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. It reads like this. The third part of the Catechism deals with the final end of man created in the image of God, beatitude, and the ways of reaching it through right conduct freely chosen with the help of God's law and grace, section 1, and through conduct that fulfills the twofold commandment of charity specified in God's Ten Commandments, section 2. This number, this numeral 16 of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, tells us what is the most important thing in our existence. Why we are here? Why do I exist? Why do you exist? We were created to spend eternity with God. That is the purpose of our lives. God created us so that in due time, if we do what he wants us to do, we will spend eternity with him. The third part of the catechism, like this number 16 tells us, will deal with how is it that we are going to reach God? How is it that we are going to reach heaven? Like the catechism teaches, heaven is not a physical place, but a state. That state of being in perfect union with God. And that is where we are going. That is our ultimate goal. That means that everything else must be subordinate to that. As fathers and husbands, many times we feel the pressure, the pressure, pressure to provide for the family. We know we have to provide for the family and sometimes it's easier than others. Sometimes it's very hard Sometimes the need to provide can be a temptation to look for the easy way out. In the area of the country that I live, I could get a job relatively easily with one of the cartels of northern Mexico and provide financially for my family to the point that we will be debt free. But that means I will have to break several of God's commandments, which like number 16, we'll deal with the commandments later on. That will be the wrong thing. I will be spitting on God's face, on his face, just so that I can have money to provide for my family. So while money is important, we must not forget, you must not forget, I must not forget that the ultimate goal is to spend eternity with God. In order to do that, I have to follow the commandments. I have to make sure that my family members follow the commandments. And that is the highest criteria. I would never work on a pharmacy in this country. As far as I know, every single pharmacy sells birth control. Working in a pharmacy means that sooner or later I will be presented with the situation of having to sell birth control to a customer. 
So, selling a knife is not an intrinsic evil thing because people can use the knife to cut food, to carve things. Yes, some people can use the knife to kill, but that is, that is not the only purpose of a knife. But birth control has one purpose and is sinful. So I would not work in a pharmacy. Perhaps I could be earning more of what I'm earning with the job I have. I work with DoorDash currently. Sometimes I get the an order where I have to go and buy items for the customers. I look at the list and more than once I have seen birth control as one of the items I need to buy. I cancel that order. I will not make money with that. I will not participate in sin so that I can make money. It is not easy, but we must not forget what our ultimate goal is. Our final end, which is beatitude, the perfect union with God. I have to do what I can, everything within my power to be in the grace of God so that I can end up with him and so that my family also. I cannot give sin anything. May the, may the Lord give us all the grace as husbands and fathers to always provide for our family and never ever offend God. Not to provide for our family, not for any other reason. And may all of us be united with him in heaven one day. Maranatha, Maranatha, Maranatha. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.